Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Survivor Blind. When we last left off, quite a few things happened. We encountered quite a few new enemies, and um, some crazy fella has been trying to hurt us, and uh, has been calling us Vincent, and telling us that we that we are a murderer. But I, I don't personally believe him, because why would we believe him a nice a nice stroll by the sewer and I'm expecting a jump scare right now this is way too long of a walk there's a ladder there no one is admitted to this room without a permit keep out I don't have a permit and I went right in my gun is my permit <laughs> oh I, lo I love you know one of the you know my, my favorite things about Resident Evil really is just you know the quiet moments you know when you're in a safe room or you finally you go into a new room and uh, no enemies. It's called calming music. There's shotgun bullets, so we will be getting a shotgun if we have not missed it. Do we actually have a limited inventory, I wonder? Yeah, imagine I might need to like combine some herbs or something. Janitor Andy's Diary. Sewer Caretaker Andy's Diary. I've never seen him, but I heard that one called Vincent has become the city's supreme commander. Hmm. Officially, he is an elite sent by Umbrella Headquarters. In truth, he is such a fiend that he would not hesitate to kill his friend if it would promote him. Well, since I live here in this dark sewer, it doesn't seem doesn't mean anything to me. I heard a disgusting rumor. The new commander, Vincent, orders the f facility personnel to do savage experiments every day on kids brought in from all over the world. I don't even know why those kids were brought into the city, but it sure is disturbing. Well, I don't want to get involved so long as it doesn't affect me. It seems some terrible accident happened above ground last night. I don't know any more details but I heard that Commander Vincent has done something cruel. Today at last, Commander Vincent came down here for an inspection. We made, a small we made small talk, but I could see nothing but cruelty in him. When I took a picture of him as a souvenir, he became very angry. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Right, so we've got some information about this Vincent fellow, a who picture. apparently might be us. Like what? No. Oh man. This is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. Who are you? Hello? Wait. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I, I didn't know anything about you then. Stop. Not sure how. Are, are, are they just playing their own little version of Resident Evil Survivor? Like, how the heck did you get here without dying? <laughs> um. Nothing in this locker. I'm wondering like, if my inventory is full that I won't even look at it or something. Because that seems like the perfect place to put a shotgun in that locker. Was that the only... Let's go, let's go back in there. 
in there. Let's make sure this is the only door. Here's a door. I wonder where that ladder would take us. That was on the other side. There's another ladder. Hmm. Choices, choices. Do I have a map? If we do have a map. Let's go check out the ladder over here first. I feel compelled to combine these herbs. Combine. All right, so we don't actually, it doesn't actually say empty anywhere. So I'm not actually sure if we can get a full inventory. Because my belief was that our inventory might've been full and that was why we weren't interacting with the locker. I wonder where that person we just uh, all right back again there's walking around the sewer I, I couldn't actually tell if it was was it, was it supposed to be a, a woman or was it like a like a young teenage boy <laughs> Oh. Might be a good time to heal. Nice. Hopefully we get it, get some more of those of those herbs. Paradise. This is no paradise I've ever been to. Hello. Sure. I can't tell if I'm equip. Oh, okay, so we are. Like, I can't really tell a big difference. I guess I was expecting maybe it, I was expecting it to be like super duper handgun. Imprisonment area, office room. This office room sounds safer, but. Obviously, it's gonna probably gonna have, you know, hunters and liquors and all that. Hello, buddy. Sleeping on the job. I'll wake you up. Oh, hello. I heard some noises, but I didn't know where they were coming from. 
Oh, I didn't see you. And any more for the center mask, because my headshots are not doing well. I'm not even sure if headshots even do anything in this game. So many fellas. Surf the web. Nope. Now is that off in the distance? Might be a shotgun, might be a screwdriver, I don't can't really tell. Yeah, that's definitely not a shotgun. <laughs> uh got a note up there. Oh, it's a key, I think. A golden key. Prison cell key. Prison Chief's Diary Today we received a reply to our report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. I'm assuming that doesn't actually mean literal guinea pigs as much as just like a, you know, uh, an expression for exp expendable dudes. The headquarters does not seem to have any sus suspicions and says that they plan to gather a replacement guinea pig soon. I, I, I'm not even sure. <laughs> it's too late, but I'm now starting to regret that I sent a fake report of a mass suicide incident when actually it was a mass escape. However, as long as I stay in the city, it means death to me if I dare to oppose to Commander Vincent. I'll never forget the cruel smile of Vincent when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison on that night. It looked as if he were killing a bunch of insects. Commander Vincent is indeed a very cold-blooded person, just as he is rumored to be. He is a true murderer. I am in a position where I am supposed to report the truth to, he to headquarters, but I am so afraid of Commander Vincent, Commander Vincent. I don't know what to do. So if we are this, Vin this Vincent person, we sure have uh, changed quite a bit. Various books. We got that Prince Prison Cell key, so we have. We can now go to the prison cell, which, um, imagine is in the imprisonment area, which we had passed. Please don't be full of fellas. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Not really much use of a. Oh, what? They actually hit me. Like just, just killing them all, all the time. That's, I don't really think was gonna is gonna get us anything. Still conf like confused about that beginning bit where I like I said I had that time piece, but now I don't have it. So I'm uh, earrings, rope. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Exercising. Is that another first aid? Uh, soda cans. Uh, that's a refrigerator, I believe. And when, when I first walked up here, I thought this was like a treadmill. Which is why I said, well, are you exercising? 
Prison guards lockers. Cannot read that. I'm not sure if that was it for that uh, room. Oh, hello. Some naked zombies. What? Where's a... Uh... Let's, let's get out of here. I want to make sure we explore everything to exhaustion. Got that, got that, that there. So we came from this door here, I believe. Lock on the other side, okay. If my memory serves me correctly, these fellas shouldn't actually be that strong. Just regular zombies with no clothes on. Was that a, a human? Looks like somebody lying down there. Man, they can take some bullets. I think I'm gonna call the video there, folks. And oh yeah, yeah. There's a. I think the hell is actually good. Probably dead. Which what's sad. I'm gonna call the vi call the video there, folks. And next time we'll explore these cells. Until then, folks. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed and look it out.